Peace and blessings, everyone. Uh, I'm your man, SG1, one half of the uh, Peacemakers, um, one fourth, actually. Uh, we add new songwriters and producers and a lot. So uh, we're, we're constantly expanding and um, we've added a lot of new music millionaires a part of our team. But anyway, if you don't know who I am, you can always Google us. Um, the information will be below, the Peacemakers. Uh, we are attributed to writing songs for such artists as Sean Kingston, the particular song will be Beautiful Girl. Uh, we're currently working with Dr. Dre on the Detox album. Um, recently and more, um, more recent, we're working with Ron Artest on his album, the NBA basketball player for the LA Lakers. Um, we've done stuff for E-40 recently, Pain No More with Snoop Dogg and Game, uh, and Flo Rida's new album, Roots, uh, finally here. Uh, so if you don't know who we are, check us out and uh, you'll get a brief synopsis of who we is and who we are, excuse me. Uh, but it's not about us. Uh, this is a Music Millionaire Success Course and Kit. The purpose behind us doing this is to help new and up and coming artists, producers, or even established artists and producers get on your game to get into the music business the right way. Uh, we've met countless and thousands of different artists who um, have talent, have skill, but don't have the right information in order to make sure that they're successful in their music business. I mean, that's what we're here to do. And a lot of times we feel and know personally that you guys have expressed to us that uh, there's a lot of shady individuals in the music game, a lot of people who um, um, seem to want to hinder your uh, ability to succeed, and a lot of individuals who feel threatened by your success, uh, depending on where they are or what type of relationship you guys have. So this is uh, another version, another set of information that you guys can use in order to uh, succeed and conquer that, that, that hill, that mountain, mountain that um, becomes the obstacle. Um, this particular subject and topic we're going to talk about, should you be selling beats without a contract? And uh, I'm going to basically indulge real quick in you selling beats or even writing music or have music that you even sold to someone or plan on selling or plan on um, uh, releasing and give you the our understanding of why it's important to have contracts in place. Uh, so firstly, you know, what, what I have in my hand here is a production agreement contract, very simple production agreement contact, contract, two pages as you see. And you know, for a lot of producers, matter of fact, let me back up. Um, the reason and purpose behind this is because I've been recently contacted um, by artists who wanted to know why I have a contract in place if my music is copyrighted. So let's touch on that first. Um, copywriting your music does not protect you always. And the reason why I'm saying that is because circumstances and situations change. For instance, you could write lyrics and send just the lyrics into the copyright office and then that is what is copywritten. You could produce a track and send that into the copyright office and then that is what is uh, copywritten according to their records. Now what happens when you combine the copyrights of, a, um, of a lyrics and music together? You have a complete song and then that has to be copyrighted as one because on the producer side, you know, it's your track which makes you a writer also and on the songwriter side, it's your lyrics that makes you a writer. And that's 50-50, a song is con considered to be 100% unless it's an acapella version of something. So there, the situation could change, basically, is what I'm saying. Now, um, copywriting your music doesn't necessarily mean, especially at that particular time, that you won't have to share copywriting rights or percentages or royalties when it comes to affiliation companies. And what I mean by that is if you're a songwriter and you've already copywritten your music and sent the file out to um, said copyright office and for some unknown reason you decide to sell it or for the reason that you, you're writing a song, you, you sell your song. Now what happens is this, you get in the studio, you're recording it and let's say I say, well I don't like this line, this line and this line, or I don't like this word, or I don't like